And so we thought, can we make a big action sports sound out of these strange mountains? And we opened them and just kind of ran with them. It was really fun. It seemed like you were having a lot of fun making it. I really, I really enjoyed it. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks. How did you go about selecting those sounds to use, though? Well, I kind of, I, I mean, yeah, basically I wandered around the city for a month with headphones on and my field recorder, yeah. and I just collected tons of stuff, and then, uh, and then I got back to, to my, my studio and just started going through, like, looking for interesting, you know, like, really small snippets usually, like a, a, like a five-second snippet of a microwave or a treadmill, and just looking for things that kind of caught my interest. And then, um, yeah, and then I have a really good friend who worked with me on a score some months, and he, he had been building virtual instruments for a while, so we, like, worked together to kind of take all of these things I collected and kind of mess them up even further. In other words, you tweak the sound yes. a little bit. Yes, we, we heavily tweaked the sound. <laughs> yeah. Mangled. Yeah. Mangled. Destroyed. <laughs> So out of all of those sounds, which one was the one that you first heard it and you're like, what is that? And didn't even know what it was. You mean in the score? In, no. Yeah, well, when you were first going through those sounds you collected, yeah. there were sounds you chose to use and you don't even know what made that noise. There are, so, there are some now where someone's like, well, now what's that? I'm like, to be honest, I don't actually remember. <laughs> I, think, um, I think one of my favorite ones was um, the, like on set in the sound stage. Uh, there's this little alarm like 50 yards away from where they're shooting and it's like a it's like a, it's a you know a police siren alarm like revolving around and um so that goes on they know everyone knows they're shooting so it's dead quiet in this cavernous stage and I and I just wandered around and it was quiet but I just like turned the game way up on my field recorder and and got these like repeating rhythmic patterns from this like I don't know what those are called it's the quiet on set alarm is what I, I refer to it as so. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, yeah, and I was because I was on the other end of it. I recognized the sounds where they came from. So hearing them from me, I would. I was the one asking, "What's that?" Is that any of it's strange how. It's also strange how like it. Um, when you listen to the score, it, it kind of sounds like an orchestral score. Like it kind of you have to. There's just something slightly off about the sound. Of it. It's not like you're listening to the clicking and clacking of a bunch of sound effects. It really feels like uh, music you're playing. So um, it's only when you start breaking it down the track. Like an element without. Yeah, you start realizing something. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Have you had a bunch of questions? First question is how do you complete the score, and then how normally how long? To write one. Yeah, I mean it kind of, yes it is complete and it sort of varies by project. This this film I was working on for a year, um, which is, you know, that's like quite a luxurious amount of time to, to have to work on it. Um, but yeah, it kind of it kind of depends. I mean, I think because this was pretty experimental for me, and because I was jumping into like a new a new sandbox, like playing with tools that I wasn't very familiar with, it was really helpful to just not have like a, a super tight time crunch, um, but just have the time to build all of, all of these instruments. <laughs> As a musician, how do you isolate yourself from the track and the rest of the music? Um, I mean, I don't, well, I don't know that I feel like I'm trying to isolate myself necessarily. I mean, I feel like it's super helpful actually to be inspired by the way other people do things. And, um, I, I heard Radiohead talk about like the way that they did um, okay computer and they said like they were trying to they were trying to make a band sound like DJ Shadow and then like a new thing came out and I kind of feel like maybe like that's that's like even though you're inspired or influenced by certain things like once you run it through your own limitations or your strengths it just comes out and then, uh, hopefully it comes out unique. <laughs> I, I think for this, I, I was thinking about this, and I, when I was when I was a kid, I was enthralled, like going to high school, I was enthralled by Stomp, you know that, like making music from trash cans and brooms. Oh and yeah, I, like, I love that's it. That's kind of maybe a direct tracing line um, to, the, to this score, yeah. I didn't know that. Our financer for the movie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, when you were playing with the sounds, there had to be some sound that you really loved, but you could not figure out how the life of you to get it to work. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I, you're right, there are. I'm just trying to think about a specific example now. Um, because I feel like even like in going back and like I've been making these videos about how we made the score, I'll like find things and I'm like, oh, that didn't make it in. Like, ah, oh, you know, if only had two years. Just the score, like three years. <laughs> In a lifetime doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It could be good. It could, be, it could be a whole specialty taking things that other people basically hear all the time and twisting them around. I mean, that, that's a real art form right there. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely feels like of the moment, like it very much remix culture right yeah. now. So what's your next project? Uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, got a couple of different things going on right now. Yeah, I, um, my wife and I do like a, a band project together that she called Faux Fix. And so um, right after we finished the Looper score, we went on the road touring that project. And um, she's actually writing right now for that. So yeah, yeah, very excited to like totally shift gears. And, do you have a favorite instrument that you like to work with? Because there's a lot of possibilities in using it. I, I, was, I was talking about this earlier. I find, like, for me, that it, whatever instrument I sit down on really affects what comes out. Um, like, if you sit down on, on a piano, you are going to write something totally different than if you sit down with a guitar. Um, the first movie that we did together, Rick, um, the, the main theme from that came from, like, wind chimes, basically. Like, Oh, interesting. That we that we kind of would jiggle a stick in, and um, and there you know there, it's like a very limited scale, so it was it was really fun to like put that limitation on it, and, you know, just write something that that was simple and melodic that maybe would be too simple if I had sat down at a at a, a you know an instrument that had more notes. <laughs> and a little bit different. Who's your jacket by? <laughs> This is um, by my good friend Kristen Meyer. She's uh, yeah. I wish I keep telling her she needs to give business cards because it's fabulous. She's awesome. Keep winding the stranger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I had an old jacket that was, like wasn't working anymore, and I was like, "Could you like do something to this?" Yeah, <laughs> she did. Yeah, she did. It's fabulous. <laughs>